the majority of Brits will not buy Prince Harry's memoir, new polling suggests. The Duke of Sussex's tell-all book Spare is released globally in the new year as the royal family braces itself for revelations. But an exclusive poll by Taken shows 55% of respondents would not be willing to pay for a copy. The poll of 1,629 British adults, carried out from November 2 to the 3rd, found 30% would shell out the Harry's memoir, while 15% were undecided. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, the launch of Prince Harry's memoir is likely to be an international event. Apart from the Duke of Windsor who waited 14 years until 1951 to release a King's story, there is no precedent for this. The number of people who will actually buy the book is simply one aspect of it. It has not yet been announced if it is to be serialized and if Harry will give interviews before publication. It has reliably been reported that the purpose of the book was primarily commercial and that it was originally scheduled for this year, that of the Platinum Jubilee, for maximum impact. It will be translated into 16 languages and the hype will be huge. It has also been reported that changes, possibly substantial changes, were made after the Queen's death. Much of the interest assumes that it will be controversial, because the blurb boasts it is raw and has unflinching honesty. If so there may well be a price to pay for its popularity as it will adversely affect the Sussex's already rocky relations with the royal family. The polling data showed older people were more likely than their younger counterparts to say they would buy a copy. Some 36% of over 64s said they would get their wallet out, compared to 23% of those aged 18 to 34. Tory and Labour backers were fairly equally split, with 34% and 30% respectively saying they would purchase the memoir. Meanwhile, some 32% of Brexiteers and 29% of Remainers were willing to pay for Harry's book. The memoir, of which the title is a reference to the phrase The Air and the Spare, was expected to hit bookshelves this autumn. However there have been reports that the tone was pushed back as the Duke made 11th hour changes to remove potentially damaging material following the death of his grandmother the late Queen. The highly anticipated book will be published by Penguin Random House. The publisher said in a statement last month, Spare takes readers immediately back to one of the most searing images of the 20th century, two young boys, two princes, walking behind their mother's coffin as the world watched in sorrow and horror. As Diana, Princess of Wales, was laid to rest, billions wonder what the princes must be thinking and feeling and how their lives would play out from that point on. For Harry, this is his story at last. With its raw, unflinching honesty, Spare is a landmark publication full of insight, revelation, self-examination, and hard-won wisdom about the eternal power of love over grief. It comes as Harry and Meghan Markle are living in the US after quitting royal duties in 2020. The Sussexes, who have set up home in California, made a series of bombshell claims about the monarchy in their Oprah Winfrey interview in March last year. The royals will no doubt be braced for further revelations from the Duke, who has been embroiled in rifts with his father King Charles and older brother Prince William. When Harry announced plans for